somebody waiting. Some of y'all waiting for yourself to get to heaven so you can look at the streets of gold, shout, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. I let the word take me there. All right. I get by myself and begin to speak that word out of my heart. Hallelujah. Only the righteous. Only the righteous. Live here. Men made perfect. Men made perfect. Mm -hmm. There is no sickness. Okay. There is no disease. Yes. Only those who have been made perfect live here. Yes, sir. Only the, the redeemed live here. I am standing in this marvelous light. It is a glorious city. I'm walking down the streets that are paved with gold. My name, God has written my name and said he was born here. He is a native of Zion. He's a part of the city. He's a beautiful inheritance of the city. He lives here. Amen. Amen. You talking about what you gonna do? I'm talking about, baby, I'm, I'm in the city. Yeah. Psalms 133 says, the blessing yes. resides here. The blessing. Yes, sir. God's empowerment for success. I can't lose. Listen, I can't lose. Because the blessing resides. You got a grip. Right. It's too late for me to lose. That's right. It's too late for me to lose. Mm -hmm. It's too late for me to be sick. <coughs> the world tells you that tells us that we have to get. As we get old, we get sick, and the body breaks down. But I can show you in the Word of God what the Bible says that his strength did not abate, and his eyes did not grow dim. I can show you in the Word of God what the Bible says that the Spirit of God that lives in me, the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, will quicken or give life or invigorate this natural body. Don't have to travel that road. That's right. Because the word offers a different route. Mm -hmm. The problem is this. Thank you, Lord. I got to beat down and rip up all of the garbage that has been planted in our hearts and minds mm -hmm. throughout the years. Mm -hmm. You're right. That's the only problem. Oh, it's flu season. Where you get that from? It's flu season. This is this time. Or oh, this allergy season. As if there's a certain time of the year, a certain months of the year, where God is not as strong against the flu Come on now. as other months. He's strong in these months. But it's something about these months over here that God. Paul said, it's not as if I have any sufficiency of myself. He says, but my sufficiency is of God. That's right. My sufficiency is not of myself. He didn't say he didn't have sufficiency. He says, my sufficiency is not of me. He says, my sufficiency is of God. That's it. God don't get tired. All right. God don't get weak. No. God don't get sick. So if my sufficiency, if my ability is of God, <laughs> 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 
if my sufficiency is of God, if my source of life is of God, then there are certain things I don't have to accept. Because those things are not able to overcome who my sufficiency is of. I told you I said it like this, and I said that because it's, it's how the Spirit of God gave it to me. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm in this body, this body has to cooperate. Because I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me. I'm, I'm fighting with minds right now. The Bible says this about the Christians talks about he who will let, will let. And that's a rough translation of what it means is, is that the Antichrist, the devil, cannot do in this world what he wants to do in this world because the church is still here. Right. Amen. Amen. What he wants to do here, he can't do because we're here. We are a blessing to this world. Amen. The world is still going because we are still here. You understand that about the world, which is nothing more than earth, and you are made from the earth. Understand that about your body. Because you are in your body, what he want to do, he can't do to your body because you are still in your body. Now, when I'm done with this body, the world can have it, but as long as I'm here, it's got to get right. Amen. 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 Greater is he that is in me. than he that is in the world. And what you have to do is you have to embrace that. Yes. yes sir. It's not, Lord, help me. He has helped me. Yes. It's not, Lord, strengthen me. He has strengthened me. Yes. I am strong. We do the word. I am what the word says I am. Yes, The Bible says the man that does the word will be blessed in his doing. I'm not trying. Listen, I do the word. Yes, sir. Yes. Paul told Timothy, he says, be strong in the grace. <laughs> Don't try to be strong. Just be strong. Be strong. Amen. Be strong. I'm trying. No, it's not trying. I am strong. Amen. Amen. Paul told Timothy, he says, oh, lay God. hold. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Lay hold of eternal life wherewith you were called. He says, grab it. Yes. Lay hold. How do I lay hold of it? I can't even see. How do I lay? I lay hold of it by grabbing with my heart and with my mouth what he says is so. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. I can't lose because I lay hold. Not of this world. Possess your possessions. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes. Possess it. Grab it with your heart and with your mouth and say it is so. It is so. Yes. <laughs> Jesus looked at the tree and said, nobody will ever eat from you again. Never. The Bible says the tree dried up from the roots. <clears throat> he told it what his destiny was. And it obeyed what he said. Listen, 
I have grabbed a hold by my spirit of certain realities. It is so. I'm not of this world. I am born again. I am a righteous spirit made perfect. That's who I am. I am just passing through this world. My name has been written in heaven. My birth has been recorded there. I am a citizen of Zion. None but the righteous live here. Yeah. None but the righteous. Amen. None but the righteous. It's a city of firstborn. <laughs> I have come to the city. I listen, my, I, I can't be poor. My team, I can't be poor. I can't be poor. I can't be poor. It's too late for me to be poor. Don't know poor people live in Zion. Don't know depressed people live in Zion. I can't be depressed. I can't be depressed. Why? Because the life that I have can't be conquered by depression. You have to sit there and allow the enemy to mess with your mind mm -hmm. in order for you to become depressed. My mom, huh? that's true. You have to sit there and allow thoughts to go through your mind in order for you to be depressed. At any moment, you could open your mouth and say, I arrest every negative thought in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 and Father, I bless you right now for a sound yes, mind. Yes, for you have yes, given me a yes. spirit of a sound yes. mind. I rejoice yes. in the fact that my mind is sound. Yes. My mind is whole. My mind is at peace right now. Because greater is he that lives in me than he that is in the world. I have peace. I have a peace that is beyond. The moment you open your mouth and begin to exert your citizenship, the enemy, get up out of there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. He got to go. Yes. Amen. He got to go. He got to go. Glory to God. But if you sit there and entertain and let him talk to you and you ain't talking back to him, <laughs> he'll have you in a crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all you had to do was lay a hold of what's already yours mm -hmm. and let that devil know. Put him on the edge of that word. Put him on the edge of that sword and begin to repeat that word back to him in confidence. Mm -hmm. I am a citizen of Zion. Only the righteous live here. I am a spirit made whole, made perfect. You cannot have my mind. You cannot have my marriage. You cannot have my joy. You cannot have my peace. The bills got to be paid. They got to be paid. Yeah. I'm a part of the citizens of Zion. The, it's the commonwealth. <laughs> I'm going to leave you right there. In your leisure, read 1 Peter, the second chapter. I'm not going to take you there. I'll deal with it at a different time. 1 Peter, the second chapter, talks about being chosen of God, being the people of God. That's what we do.